Code Monkey here. At the moment, I am in the middle of a huge ESL games program that has, I think, maybe 20 different scenes in it at least. And it's been very important for me to be able to use a lot of common functions in every scene that I do. So what I've done, I've made a base scene, and I did this for the Ultimate Games Part template too, if you've seen that but I've extended it here to put all my common functionality into a base scene so I can reuse that over and over. It saves me a lot of time and worry. So let me show you how to do that now. Let's get started. Code monkey, get up, get coffee. Code monkey, go to job. Now to show you how to extend a scene in Phaser, I've gone ahead and set up some test code here. I've preloaded some images. I've made a function called make button, which makes a button, adds the image in the X and Y, adds the index being passed into the button key here, and then returns the button. Nothing very complicated. And then we can call that function over and over. Say if I want to make a button too, and put it a bit down from that, then we've got more buttons. But what if I want to have this code, this functionality of make button in every scene that I use? Well, there's a couple of ways we could do it. We could just copy and paste all this code into every new scene. But I was just using a project that had more than 20 scenes in it. So to copy and paste, and then if I wanted to make a change, I had to go back and fix all that code in all the 20 scenes. So that's where extending a scene comes in very handy. I'm going to make a file here called base scene JS. Now, right now, this is just a normal scene. And when we have a scene that is extending phaser scene, we pass the name of the scene into the super. And the super calls the constructor of anything that we're extending. So in scene main, if we extend base scene, and then base scene extends phaser scene, we need to pass that key to phaser scene. So we pass in already the super scene main, and then instead of going to phaser scene because we're extending base scene, it comes over here into this constructor. So we just need to put a parameter there, pass in that key, and then it'll go into the constructor of phaser scene. I'm going to go ahead and link this into our index HTML. And then after doing that, I can take any functions that I want to use in every scene and copy and paste them or cut them and paste them and put them in base scene. And that works. If I then wanted to add functionality to those buttons, I only have to change it in one place, even if I've used this in many scenes. Button set interactive, button on pointer down, this do something, and we bind it to the scene. And console log do something. So even if I've used that in 10 to 20 different scenes, it will now have that functionality in every scene. So now when I click the button, it's console logging out, do something. But what if I want to have it do something different based on which scene I'm in? Well, if you put it then into the scene that is extending base scene, it will override anything in the base scene. For example, do something else. And if you want to call the create function inside base scene, the scene that you're extending, you're going to need to call super create. And I'll just log out base scene ready. So you've seen how we use super to call both the constructor of anything that we're extending and to be able to call functions and how to do overrides. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching. Any questions, just leave some comments below. Thanks very much.